Hi Snapchat, this is Miss Colorado Teen USA, Alexis Wynn, and I am taking over Snapchat today. Please feel free to ask me questions today on my Instagram accounts, and I will try to answer as many as possible today. Shout out to Libby Watts, IG at Libby Watts. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but Odalis Miranda 10 just asked me where I'm from in Colorado, and I am from Castle Pines. Jake Steinhardt from Wisconsin just asked me what my favorite sport is, and that is soccer. I've played since I was four years old. G Max Smith just asked me what my favorite memories from being at Miss USA were, and that was probably meeting all my other teen sisters and getting to know them a little better. Another question from Jake Steinhardt is, do you ski? And I can, but I don't usually enjoy it. Aubrey Link 2 just asked me if I'm close friends with Miss Colorado USA, Kaylee Ray Pavlar. The answer is yes, we're extremely close friends. We only live five minutes away from each other, so I get to see her all the time, and she's like a big sister to me. We are at Red Rocks Amphitheater right now, and as you can see, Coloradans love to use it as a nice workout spot. And it is a geological phenomenon. It is the only naturally occurring, acoustically perfect amphitheater in the world. Max loves from the Netherlands asks if I could live anywhere in the world where would it be and I'm not exactly sure I'm going to have opportunities to travel this next year but one of my favorite places to go right now is Cabo San Lucas Mexico Sabrina from Arkansas asked what my favorite part about doing pageants is and that's getting to meet all the other girls and share the experience with them Lala Lexi asks what is my biggest challenge in competing in pageants and how I overcome it this was only my second pageant ever, I would definitely say stage fright, and I just try to remember to breathe and remember that everybody else is as nervous as I am. Jason Kurtz from Wisconsin asks if I like Nike or Under Armour better, and I would have to say Nike since they sponsor my soccer club. Katie Page asks if I'm snapping and driving, and no, my lovely mother is driving me around today, and my little sister Mia is with me. Ray from Illinois asks what I use on my eyebrows, and I use Dun & Dun Cosmetics, and I use their eyebrow pencil, and I also use Anastasia Browkin. The Renards from Colorado in Highland Branch just asked me what my favorite flavor of Skittle is, and those are the red ones. Someone just asked me who my Miss Teen USA Ruby is, and that is the beautiful Sophia Miss Minnesota Teen USA. Lindsay from Greeley, Colorado asks if someone isn't comfortable in their own skin, what would you say to them and how do you stay comfortable? That's a fantastic question that I'm not sure I have the perfect answer to, but I think everybody needs to learn to love themselves for who they are because you are uniquely you and you have special qualities that nobody else has. Lindsay asked what my reaction was to winning Miss Colorado Teen USA and how many times I competed before. I only competed twice and the first time I ever competed I was third runner up and I was so excited after doing that first pageant to go for my second year. Unfortunately, I ruptured my Achilles and I didn't think I'd be able to compete, so I went into intense physical therapy. And in a week, I went from being in a cast to being in an orthopedic walking boot, which I competed in. And when I won, I was so overwhelmed and happy because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. We are at our next location, the home of the Super Bowl 50 world champions, the Denver Broncos. Joyce Kruger just asked me what my favorite soccer memory was, and my favorite funny soccer memories is when my goalie, Joyce, was playing midi, and she caught the ball midair, which you're not allowed to do as a field player. 
Love guacamole just asked if I've ever had a change of flat tire and yes, I got a flat in my school parking lot. A couple people have asked me what got me into pageants and I used to be super shy and had the worst stage fright and I did them to become more confident and outgoing. Someone just asked me who my favorite Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA are, and my favorite Miss Universe is Olivia Colquell. My favorite Miss USA is Nia Sanchez, who I got to meet at Miss USA, and my favorite Teen USA is a tie between Katherine Haig and Hillary Cruz, my girl from Colorado. Lena from Alabama just asked me if I play any instruments, and I used to play the violin for my high school orchestra. Sophia from Argentina asked if I was first winner up at Miss Teen USA, who I'd want to win, and I really just hope she'd be a good representative of Miss Teen USA and everything they stand for. We are at our next location, which is the Denver Mint, and it is one of two mints in the entire United States, the other one being in Pennsylvania. Carly from Louisiana just asked who my favorite dress designer is, and I really don't know because there are so many good ones out there. Ethan Kurtz just asked if I know Miss Wisconsin Teen USA, and yes, Carly is a part of my sister states. There are seven of us in future productions. Someone just asked me what makeup I use, and I use a whole bunch of different ones. I use MAC, Denadun Cosmetics, my sponsor, Anastasia, Urban Decay, and Ulta. Ben from Wisconsin just asked me chocolate or vanilla and chocolate. Ashlyn just asked me what advice I have for someone who is going to be competing as the youngest contestant in a Miss Teen USA state pageant. They go for it, be confident, and know you can win. Katherine Haig was only 14 when she won her state title and 15, the youngest ever to win Miss Teen USA. Allie from Missouri asked what ethnicity I am, and I am German, Irish, Russian, African American, and Choctaw Indian. Someone asked me if my lips are real and if I use the Kylie Jenner lip kit, and yes, my lips are real, and no, I have not used her lip kit yet. Someone just asked me who the rest of my sister states are in future productions, and they are Paige, North Dakota, Mackenzie, South Dakota, Hannah, Iowa, Shelly, Wyoming, Carly, Wisconsin, and Sophia, Minnesota. Joel from Colorado asked me who helped me change my flat tire, and that was Joel, my boyfriend. Carly from Nebraska asked me if I've ever been to Budo Donuts and what my favorite donut is, and there's too many to choose from, but I do know I don't like the Mexican hot chocolate. Cute little Allie just asked me what my favorite pizza is, and that's just plain old cheese. Lindsay from Utah just asked what my favorite skiing slash snowboarding spot in Colorado is, and that is Copper Mountain. Sarah from Minnesota just asked me what my favorite TV show is, and I really like Bones, Criminal Minds, and Forensic Files. Really, anything that has to do with forensics. Victoria Franklin from San Diego, California asked if I speak any other languages and if I plan on learning any other ones. I've taken five years of Spanish and I hope to become fluent and I'd also love to learn French and maybe Italian. Eva from Denver would like to know what I plan on majoring in in college and what my future plans are. I plan on majoring in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology at CU Boulder and eventually becoming a doctor right after I become a world famous supermodel. Samantha from Nebraska asked what my favorite part of being Miss Colorado Teen USA is, and that's being able to be involved in so many different charities and be a role model to little girls. Brianna just asked me what my favorite part of being in pageants is, and that is the evening gown competition because I love seeing the girls in all their gowns. Bohemian Queen 97 just asked why I'm staying in Colorado for college and not going out of state, and that is because.
because I love my state and I have two little siblings that I'd like to stay close to. Sarah just asked me what my favorite part about Colorado is and that is how many things there are to do in Colorado's nature and beauty such as hiking and skiing and camping. Coco, what are you doing? Cassidy from Louisiana just asked who my favorite women's national soccer player is. And that's a tie between Julie Johnston because we play the same position and she's a beast and Abby Wambach because I love how aggressive she is up top and doesn't let anything stop her. Pearson just asked me what my input is on the tragedy that happened in Orlando and if I believe that all Americans should be treated equally no matter their race, religion, or sexual orientation. In regards to the first question, it breaks my heart and it saddens me that tragedies like this keep happening all around the world and I wish we could figure out a way to stop this. In regards to equality, being a multiracial individual, I strongly believe that all people should be treated equally no matter their race, sexual orientation, or religion. James from New York just asked me how you guys can watch us compete for Miss Team USA and it will be streamed live on MissUniverse.com on July 30th. Kaylin from Hawaii just asked me if I've ever been to Hawaii and no I have not and I really 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 want to. Lee the artist just asked me if the interview portion is really as nerve-wracking as everybody says it is. Personally yes because I know it's a huge part of how the judges score you because it's where they get to know you but just remember to be yourself and that the judges are only human too. AKA I just asked me what my thoughts were on Pia and Deshana, and though I haven't gotten to meet them yet, I believe that they're both intelligent, strong, and beautiful women. Someone just asked me what the difference between Miss America and Miss USA is. Miss USA is owned by the Miss Universe organization, and Miss America is a whole separate organization, and Miss USA goes on to compete for Miss Universe. Someone just asked me if I would ever compete on the Miss Teen USA stage without makeup to promote natural and inner beauty, and yes, definitely. I've had a lot of people ask me how old I am, and I am 18 years old. We Love Guacamole just asked me if I think social media negatively or positively influences our youth. Negatively, it impacts us because it has lessened our face-to-face -face interactions, but positively, we are now able to reach more people and bring awareness to important issues. Roby from Arizona just asked me what I'm most excited about for Miss Teen USA, and that is getting to wear my super top secret evening gown. Sam from California just asked me what my favorite book is, and thank you so much. I love reading, but there's too many good books to choose from. But some of my favorite series are The Infernal Devices and The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, and The House of Night series by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. Someone just asked me who my favorite competitor at Miss USA this year was, and obviously my girl Kaylee, Miss Colorado USA. Emily Champion just asked me if I've ever been to St. Louis or Garden of the Gods, and no, I've never been to St. Louis, but yes, I've been to Garden of the Gods, and it's one of Colorado's most beautiful landmarks. Nishali from Trinidad just asked me if I've ever read the Harry Potter series, and if so, which is my favorite book? And surprisingly, no, even though I'm an avid reader, I have not read the Harry Potter series, but I love the movies, and my favorite is The Goblet of Fire. Olivia from Kentucky asked me if I was planning on becoming the next Hillary Cruz, and of course, I'd love to take home the second crown for Colorado. Someone just asked me what I do to stay in shape, and what my meal plan and workout schedule look like. My sponsor, Scott Keppel, who is a fitness trainer and nutritionist, put together a workout schedule for me, which I do five to six days a week, which consists of low cardio and weightlifting in order to build and tone my muscles. And since I have a high metabolism, my diet consists of high calories and protein and carbs in order to counteract that and help build on my thin frame. We Love Guacamole just asked if I'd ever go skydiving, and yes, it's on my bucket list and I hope to go soon. Just ask me if there are any charities that I support, and yes, two charities that are near and dear to my heart are the Denver Bridge Projects and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Kendall from Minnesota asked me if I've ever been to Minnesota, and yes, Future Productions holds their pageant power week there.
Raina from Colorado asked me if I've ever been to Craig, which is a little town near Steamboat. And no, I've never been to Craig, but I've been to Steamboat many times for soccer tournaments. Jasmine from Georgia just asked if I like to sing and what my favorite song is. And yes, I like to sing, but in the shower and in the car, and I don't have a favorite song. Ethan Zender, a friend since kindergarten, just asked me what my favorite high school memory was, and that's probably raising money during Wish Week for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Kayla from Arizona just asked me what kind of car I drive, and I drive a VW Jetta. Chloe from Pennsylvania just asked me who my first runner-up was, and that was Courtney Robertson. Hi, my name is Alexis. I'm 18 years old from Castle Pines, Colorado, ready to compete for Miss Teen USA. Check me out. Sorry I was eating dinner, but I'm back and Esperanza from LA asked if I've ever had braces and actually I have some on the bottom teeth right now. Just got them to straighten them out a little before Miss Teen USA and I've never had any on the top. Someone asked me if I've ever been to Oklahoma and no I have not, but I've driven through it in a blizzard once. Okay, this one's a little weird, but it's the second time I've been asked this, and it's what toothpaste do you use, and I use Crest 3D Glamorous. <laughs> Joyce from Colorado asked, pancakes or waffles, and waffles all the way. Someone just asked me if I'm close with my little sister Mia, and yes, and if I have any other siblings, and I have a younger brother named Braxton and an older half-sister named Mihaela. Someone just asked me who my favorite Disney princess is, and I can't decide between Merida, Mulan, and Tiana because they're all strong and didn't need a man. Girl power! Bond Girl just asked me that if I were to win Miss Teen USA, what the first thing I would do after would be, and that is probably celebrate with my friends and family. Thompson just asked if I wear colored contacts, and no, I do not. Mama's eyes. Hannah from Danuba, California just asked me what my most embarrassing moment was. Well, my freshman year on the high school soccer team, we had our very first team dinner and I decided I was going to drink a lot of water. There was an upperclassman who made me laugh so hard that I proceeded to throw up all the water I had just previously chugged all over the table. 